guys and let's go for Let's talk to God and begin to pray. Just silently, just talk to God. Pray. Pray for me. Pray for yourself. Pray that the word of God. But you'll be a doer of the word of God. You'll only be hearing. Pray that you position yourself properly to receive. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. We are grateful. We are truly grateful. The ministry is grateful. Privilege to come before you come before your children, O oh God. Lord, thank you for your mercy over the ministry. We thank you for your mercy over the children, O oh God. Anoint my lips. Anoint my head. Anoint this room. Anoint each and every one here, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, so. Hey, is that your time? The time to ask Or oh, it's not there? Okay, then I forgot. <laughs> so, yeah, please keep playing. There are a few times this happens to me. I don't think it's happened more than five times. When the message comes to me in a vision. Or. A few, a few times has happened. I remember one, the Valley of God. I preached it. I preached it at uh, BIWC. Uh, these things people invited me. The God children I had a vision on that. Then the other one was when God spoke to me about the mystery of the sun, the moon, and the stars. That was one. I, I, those things I do for. I don't for. I don't remember the scriptures. And then we had the I was given an assignment that this one I said, Oh Charlie, this one I'm going to prepare and make sure that worthy of the call. I'll not forget the so I already had examples in my mind that I said, Lord, thank you. But it changed. So I was struggling, I asked my wife, I said, ah, Charlie, I have my scriptures, but it's like in fact if you have been preaching, you understand what I'm saying. That's why if you're preaching for a long time. If you've been preaching for a long time. When you prepare or not, no one will know. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, no one will know. You just come and there's a spirit of revelation, especially. This guy is really anointed. You know, I will open the Bible in the morning. It's true. So you can deceive yourself as a preacher. It's like some of the gifted instrumentalists. You don't need to come and then this woman have you they don't uh, did someone teach them? Tell it. They just, and then they are playing. You know, it's like that. So it's like grace. So I appeared in a hospital in an intensive care unit. This is how the, how the message came. And there were people lying on the hospital beds. Why are they? I'll tell you part one now, and I'll tell you part two, getting to the end of the sermon. And they had covered them with. You know this hospital clothes? You see the blue one? They have a blue and a green one. At least the guy now said, I don't know about outside. And they are covered. And they're almost about to cover their face. I mean, when you cover, I mean, the person is dead, you know. Then I came out of the vision, and the Lord said, Awake them. Awake them. I said, Okay. No problem. So that's why I put it. So the title of someone is Awake. Tell your neighbor awake. Tell your neighbor awake. Awake, yes. So if you sleep during the preaching, <laughs> next slide, please. Ah, it has come. What are you type there? Oh, did you just add it? No. 
Yeah, I think animation. I think get animation well. So, so you uh, put the head in there so that the people will believe me. No, next one. This. Uh, or oh, this one, there's nothing there. Hey, you are lying. Uh huh. That's come. We'll start Isaiah 52, verse 1 to 8. So let's open the scripture. And you, mighty God, and your awesome majesty. Lord, come upon us and release your power and let your presence fall. Okay, do so you go there, isn't it? So awake, awake, put on thy strength. Awake, awake, put on thy strength. Is it not ironic that after you sleep, you should rather be strengthened? So why is Isaiah telling the people to wake up and rather put on strength? Because what he's talking about is not physical sleep. He's talking about a state of spiritual sleep. You know, there's a state of spiritual sleep, and today. We'll explain what it is. There's a difference between sleep and rest in the Bible. There's a difference. There's a big difference. The Bible says God does not slumber, neither does he sleep. So when the Bible says God rested on the seventh day, it's not like he fell asleep. Do you understand? It's like Namina wa bread in teacher or that. There is an element of what you call rest, that total trust in God. That's why when he says he's resting from his achievements, that he has in his recreation of the world, it is imperfection. That is what he's resting from. It's not like, oh, we're praying to or Do you understand what I'm saying? So the reason it is sleep and rest. That's why Jesus said, come unto me. That are heavy laden, and I will give you what? It's not, I will give you sleep, so I'll give you rest. So, what Isaiah, look, the prophet said, they were wild, though. like Bishop Nanami was saying, awake, awake, like every sentence, there's a command. Say, there's an understanding to it, awake, awake. And in the vision, go to awake them. Like, hey, how do you? Should I go and tap the person and say, oh, sorry, ne, ne, you know? How, how do you do that? How do you do that? Put on thy what? Even the example you gave about Jacob, Genesis 28. He w- the Bible says in, I think, verse 16 of J- uh, Genesis 28, that he woke up from his sleep and said that God was in this place and I knew not. Some of you are sleeping, you don't know that God is where you are. You are not aware. Your, your spiritual senses are so dull, you can walk into a witchcraft trap and be laughing with the witches <laughs> and be smiling with them. Let's go back to the slide. So I said, so Genesis 2 2, just back to what I said. So rest is the place of absolute trust. Absolute. Absolute. And today, that is what I'm believing God to happen to you. And please, the, the retreat, eh, like Bishop was saying, I don't know what happened. Don't take anything for granted. The most anointed part of the me, I've said it before, of the ministry is a retreat for me personally. When I go for a retreat and I come back, I see that something has changed. Me, me, I've seen that Charlie, 
something has changed. So whatever you are doing, some people are going to continue the retreat in their sleep. Yes, it's true. They will continue. So just like open your heart, position your heart well to receive. Position your heart, I beg you, because me, Charlie, that's why I'm this with you. My dream, Charlie, my dream leave cry, my wow. It's not about the preaching. I said, Lord, I want, there's something that I need from you. Me, I'm going to preach you. You'll be like, oh, I'm part of it, so Charlie. Leave the deception of preaching. You understand? It, 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 I don't know how to explain it, but all like you are involved in activities of the church. So you think activity is equal to relationship. It is not true. It's not true. It's not true. Oh, but everywhere, Satan will bypass you because you are small. Yes, because you are, you are you you have no effect in his kingdom. Satan is not everywhere, so he cannot be wasting time on everybody. You are not important. It, you are heads that I'm saying you are not important. <laughs> in the scheme of things, you are not. So I just actually we are looking at. Maybe some someone who is not even holding a microphone, but has has a cloth round head, wakes up at three a.m. every morning, and is praying till five or six, three hours every day. Charlie said, "I sought for a man and I found none." Hey, but he's not holding a microphone. Nobody knows. But Charlie, Kama Imos, Lord, open the heavens over the church. Lord, I'm praying for this this. This marriage that this person is in now, Lord, they don't have a child. Lord, we pray for the opening of the womb. Secret, then the person will give birth and come to church, wear white, white, and roll on the ground. Then the mama is sitting at the back. She's just joyful in her heart. No applause, nothing. But in heaven, Amazura had dies on Alpha and Omega Street, lane one. She has a chain of mansions in her name. Then you don't you don't have a challenge with your matters. So no 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 equate the two. Yeah, don't equate the two. I don't know why, but I think people need to hear this. Huh? Awake. Tell the neighbor, are you being awakened? <laughs> so I got an image. It says life is peaceful when you rest on the promises of God's word. Do you know what rest is? You are leaving yourself. So if you are on the bed, you are trusting the bed. Some of you trust your bed more than God. You trust your bed and you like telling you are in it. But let me be you are one of the people who roll so much you roll on <laughs> you are you are you know telling there is rest in God rest on all sides whatever is plaguing you Charlie, people will not understand Meshach and Abednego and Shadrach people are saying that I'm sure people are saying that you just kneel, kneel before the start, just kneel and spare your life but they had rest they had rest, they are like oh we'll walk in the fire if it does not save us Christ, we'll still walk in the fire Charlie, rest if my school fees is not paid, can I still trust God? Can you say that? Or you go complain in any way? Anyone near way? When a guy breaks your heart and you are shattered to pieces and you say, Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's the doing of the Lord. <laughs> Love, eh? It's a you, like you say. People can understand. If you human beings can understand, like how can a nice lady go out with this? I don't want to. Like I can't. I can't continue the sentence. So if a human being, he has not even understand it. They say, how can this guy? You, you are, you are trying to decipher with your mind. A thing that can. Have you seen love before? 
anyway naik pak kawin kita naik pak kawin apa lagi next slide Hey, we are there already. So let's read um, Isaiah 52, verse 1 again. Hey, I'm, I'm just on the first sentence. <laughs> okay. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Zion is the heavenly city. For those who are not aware. So you, when you hear in a retreat, they mention Zion. What is Zion? Then go and check it down. That's how we all. I don't know how we cannot open your head and put it inside. Put on thy beautiful camp. Now, put it on thy strength. One of the ways to put on strength. The Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord shall re-. let's go there. Isaiah 40, verse 31. Shall renew their strength. So the power that comes from strength is in waiting. Uh, the same Isaiah 40, 31, I think. Yeah. They shall mount. Now, these are the effects of the strength. You mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. How is it that you are running and not, you are not weary? How is it that you are walking and you are not fainting? It's all that strength comes from God. So, what is talking about this strength? Isaiah is linking the two, even. So, Isaiah, that put on. Is the type of strength because it's you see in this one they put it there their strength when you go to Isaiah 52 verse 1 let's go there you see they've written again that put on what thy strength so a strength that God wants to give to you it's not strength from I don't know where their scientists can tell you all Jerusalem so he's talking about the heavenly city and then the old Jerusalem that's the earthly city the holy city and it's called a holy city because God set the Jews apart. It's simple as that. You can ask a million questions. Why didn't he choose Ghanaians? Why didn't you? They've chosen. So, henceforth, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and unclean. So, spiritual sleep, one of the effects of it is that you become unclean. You become what? uncircumcised and we can go back to um, how do you call it we can use first mentions the law of first mentions and said okay where does circumcision start from the book of genesis abraham how did he begin so you've heard he said the law of first mentions then he writes what is the law of first mentions don't tell me that then you go and find out shake thyself from the dust Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Lose thyself from the bands of thy neck. So, because of their sleep, they are in captivity. From the bands of what? Your neck. O captive daughter of Zion. How can a daughter of Zion be captive? How? Some of you have slept, and by the time you woke up spiritually, your desire for God went down. The prayer life went down. All of a sudden, you started desiring boys. Yes. I will show you how it happened. Judges chapter 16. You see, a spirit can cause you to sleep. The Bible says in the book of Genesis that God made Adam to fall into a deep sleep. And when he slept, that is when Eve came out. So Judges chapter 16. You guys go off. Judges 16, um, okay. Verse 17 to 21. Any, okay. So this is Samson and Delilah. That he, Samson, told her all his heart and said unto her, There had not come a razor upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. Be careful who you tell your secrets to and the secrets even of how God even blesses you. Look at this. You see, you see that? He said, Thomas, he told her all his heart. The Bible says, If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me and I shall become weak and like any other man. This is the goal of the enemy. What God has placed on your life. He wants to 
it corrupted so that I become like any other man. And when Delilah saw he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the Lord of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he has showed me all his heart. Then the Lord of the Philistines came up unto her and brought money in their hand. And she made him what? She made him move. Do you understand? She made him sleep upon what? Some of you, you're well with your heads being. Where have your heads been? She made him to sleep upon her knees. And she called for a man. So there was a third person. And she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. And she began to afflict him. And his strength went from him. Look, how can you fall into a sleep that when they shave, you are cutting your hair, you cannot wake up? <laughs> eh? What kind of sleep? Is it that they are shaving? If they, if the mama brings the what do you call it, the clipper, and you do it like this by a razor, you cannot feel anything, and you are still on the person's knees, and you are still. If you can, she even left and even called the man. So at the point, he just left him there, called the man, and came back. That's what he said. Let's go. Where is it? Go to the previous scripture. <laughs> Verse nineteen. You are looking at the one you did 19. Uh huh. He called for a man. So she, how did he call? There's no mobile phone. Called for a man. And she caused him to shave off his head. And she began to afflict. So afflictions have arisen while men and women have fallen asleep. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came and so tasked. What type of sleep will come that will allow the enemy into your own field? And he was still asleep when the affliction was going on. It's not like he was awake. Let's go to verse 20 and 21 now. And she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he woke up out of his sleep. So you, you, you can see the difference. You have slept all through this time. So it shows that she had the power to let him come up. Because the Bible says, and she said, the Philistines be upon thee, Samson. So out of that sleep, he called her and said, okay, come up. Then all of a sudden, he awoke. Meanwhile, all the activities that went around, he was asleep. <clears throat> and he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. Because we realize that, no, something has changed. Sometimes you can feel that the anointing, something has happened to it. Or sometimes you can feel that the prayer, something has happened. Something. The singing. Something. Something has happened. You've awoken in Charlie. You can't pinpoint it, but something has happened. Departed from him. The, the Bible says, I will go out and he wished not that the Lord was departed from him. So while something was asleep and the locks were being shaved off, the Holy Spirit packed his bags and moved out. So people, sometimes you fall into, sometimes there are chants, there are things, and then you are falling into a spiritual sleep. I'm not, I say, there's no just sleep and rest. We have established that. And then you see that Charlie, something has changed. You can't feel the presence of God anymore. The way you used to be, you, you cannot. Oh, but today, God is going to wake us up. Yes. The Philistines took him and put out and put out his eyes. Yes. So you see, it's the gifts they want. Fishing. What is the why didn't they let him go like that? Why didn't they say that? Oh, some of you, all of a sudden, you had one encounter with the lady. You slept with a girl, and from that time, that has been the end. Your guys are gone. You put your head on her knees. All of a sudden, it went to the panties. Yes. <laughs> you, you went to the panties. Then you are saying, hey, Bonsam, like, 
you can see that this lady that is coming, Charlie, there's something off. Avoid it. <laughs> Charlie, why won't you just avoid it? Run! Run! Flee! Charlie, oh! You can see a Delilah walking. And you think Delilah is a spirit too? It can also be a man. <laughs> That they play, play. <laughs> it can also be a man. A man. Charlie, I'm telling. Oh, look, I was, I was some interviewing the ladies in my office. That's small. Charlie, no, just oh, like Charlie. So, see, he has one beard. Look, the way the lady said it, I could see the love for the beard. <laughs> so, Bishop, I don't. Yes, well, like, uh-huh, stand up, like, uh, uh, this is our chairman. Charlie? <laughs> he has to have, Charlie, when he's coming, and the tight fit, and then there's, they say there's some shorts. Then, oh, what is the name of the shorts? You cannot say the name of the shorts. Hey! Uh, <laughs> eh? It's what? Eh? Pinocchio. Medu. So, you don't carry the name of the shorts. Yes, Medu. That's the name of the shorts. <laughs> so, so, so it, well, I didn't even know this because the person was explaining it to me. Italy, Bishop, we forget something so else. <laughs> yeah. So you you have confronted this guy whose source is made you and you are still following. Hey. So when you say I was like, oh okay, so I look at I think Charlie come to even think of it. Hey. Yeah, I'm shocked. <laughs> Look, you have seen that the name should even suggest to you that this is a no. It's, you don't need a rishi. <laughs> you don't need a pastor to tell you. The name of the dress or the clothes should be able to tell you as a Christian. Like what Bishop was saying. That this one, hey, what the name? Shall I tell them about awake? So you see. The, the, the thing is that you have heard the name, but you are still going on. You are in a spiritual state. You, you are in a state of delusion. You, yes, like like the vision I saw. Like, and you know, I'll, I'll tell you the end. I don't want to. Like you, you are in a state of Charlie. You cannot. You are still following like how a dog follows his master. You are just going. You are. Hey, this is, meanwhile, this thing is wrong. You know from the scripture it's wrong. You have heard that this camp is wrong. You've had your quiet time that morning that is wrong. And still, you cannot come out of it. You, can, you cannot. You are in a state of spiritual sleep. Delilah is about to shave your head. And the Holy Spirit is about to leave you. And you see, you see I'll shake off myself. You think it's the flesh. And I'll come and I'll face them again. And when they caught him, you see, in the state of spiritual sleep, you think like you were asked before because you've had achievements. So you will come and pick the microphone again. And the devil will say, uh uh-huh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 no, it's at that point that you take out your eyes because you are now going to face the Philistines. So it's at that point when he comes and you are ministering, you say that, ah, you say that after. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. There is an anointing on the message I'm preaching. I'm telling you. I said, this is not more than five times that God will tell me, this is how the message will go. It's for everybody in this room. Awake like you need to come out. You need to come out. Like the wind that Bishop Nanabim was talking about. Many who are not aware. You see what is happening in Ukraine. And look, when you see Israel just getting involved in this matter, just know that Jesus and this whole Ben like yes, I'm t- 
and you see that they are trying to rope. Maybe Russia loses a war, something. And you see the downf- the downfall of America is the sign and the rise of China is one of the signs that tell you in the next days or something. Just prepare yourself. It's, it's exit. Exit. So you need to know. You are not descending. You are not saying, what, the whole week I've been sad. You say, what's happening? I say, I'm not sad because of anything. No. I'm sad at what is happening. Yes, it's like a soul has filled my heart. I can't even talk. Then I'll be looking. I was like, oh, Charlie, look at what is happening. You can see wickedness is at play. And you can see a lot of Christians are spiritually asleep. Yeah, you're not aware. You're not aware. And you see, what, what is happening is God has released something that will help Christians to become awake. One of the things is Hallelujah Challenge. You see, Hallelujah Challenge, it is, people don't understand how Nathaniel Basi is global. It's because of these sacrifices. When it happens, God just says, okay, it's an altar for him. So he's creating and building an altar and a covenant to that man. It's beyond his generation. Yes. It's beyond his generation. And altar and covenant is a spiritual system. Satan also uses it. Satan also uses it. Because he was in heaven once. He knows how it works. Hmm. And brought him down to Gaza. And bound him with fetters of brass. And he did grind in the prison house. Charlie, every Delilah, any spirit of Delilah in your life. Causing you to sleep. Causing your prayer life to come down. Causing the word of God to come down in your life. Causing you that you cannot prophesy again. Today, like Isaiah prophesied, awake, awake and put on the strength of the Lord. Everybody, you, you have become a captive. Your prayer life has become some of your prayer life is like this. You are in intensive care and you are dying and you are dead in poor. I think the doctors have this thing that they and then I don't know what it's called, they need to revive the person. Defibrillator, it's a big word. Defibrillator. So they and then they said that start or something. I want you watch all the ER movies. You see that? This is how your work study. You see that? You see, you look at the thing just to keep the person alive. Just to keep the person alive. Look at all the tubes. Look at the, all the things that they have put over here. All the drips. This one, when they turn off the lights. <laughs> when they turn off the lights, what will happen? Charlie, may your light not be quenched. May your light not be quenched. Everything you become. Verse 2. I mean, I think we are still on verse 1 eh, of Isaiah 52. You, it has been, you have been, see, Dr. Osan, you have become a captive. You have become a captive. A captive to what? The world is just, so any, if a captive, where your master goes, that's where you are going. That's where you are going. No, no, go, go to. We are not even. Before we come here, we are still on this. <laughs> we have not come here. So, this one, how beautiful are the future? It talks about ministry. So, God wants to revive His people before He hands them over the ministry. That is that is how the pattern is. Before you, be, at least you become like Samson, and you are not revived, but you want to face the Philistines. And then when you face the Philistines, they will cut out your eyes. Can you replace eyes easily? Can you create eyes? Tell me if they have been, I don't know. Maybe they've done eye transplant, but I'm not aware. Can you create? That's how precious visions of the Lord are. You take it for granted. You have dreamt and woken up and you laugh about it. You are not aware that it's a destiny defining moment. You are not aware that God is speaking to you. You are not aware that Solomon received the gift of wisdom and understanding of so many things and even all that he had in his kingdom because he dreamt and slept and had an encounter with the Lord. Do not take dreams for granted. Do not take visions of the Lord for granted. God is saying today, awake! Awake! Thank you. Hmm. 
Messiahs. In Mali Kalura Hatos. Remenuna in a katumene adas. In Kalu Frahaya Ketabasis. Halabahayas. This, you see, God, eh, He loves us. See that? Oh, Jerusalem. He's not talking about the heavenly city. Because the heavenly city is, does not need your gifts and your talents. The, the heavenly city has only put on beautiful garments for you. That's all you need over there. You are not taking your keys to the grave. But it comes here and says that, Lose yourselves from the bands of thy neck. O captive daughter of thy Zion, for that seeth the Lord. You have sold yourself. You sold yourself for nothing. You sold yourself for nothing, and you have you shall be redeemed without money. Why? Because Jesus came and holds the key of that deliverance. He said, I am he who has the keys of David. I can open a door that no man can shut. For thus said the Lord God, my people went down at four times. He's talking about how, how they said to go to the next phase, the next season. The next season. Now therefore, what have I here, said the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them to have, said the Lord, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Delilah is a blasphemer. And every day you are hanging around that blasphemer. Every day you are hanging, like Bishop was saying. It's like, uh, if you listen to romantic songs, you feel like having sex. That's how it is. If you listen to anointed messages, you feel like preaching. You feel like healing the sick. Yeah. I was listening to Oye Depo. He said, We are exempted from coronavirus. When it approaches, it stops at the gate. Can you mention one case in this house? Charlie? Huh? Look, when you feel like walking on, on mountains when you listen to him. You see, his faith level is yes, beyond, that's beyond the roof. Your faith level is here. You have not, that's a mistake people make. They equate that to beyond the roof. And when face a principality who say, you will bypass you. Like, <laughs> he said, here, Nigeria is experiencing economic crisis. Mention one economic crisis in the past 40 years over here. We have none. Yes. <laughs> when I was listening, I said, Lord, this is come. This is it. I'm, I'm listening to you so that I can see financial miracles in the house. Yeah. I'm listening to you. I'm like, God, I've seen that my faith is here on that. Day, so I need to jump beyond the roof. I need to build it up. I need to build it up. You see, people criticize me. There's nobody who I've heard who's always every saturday and friday going for evangelism he came to ghana a couple of years ago to do a crusade at the stadium bishop that went when he went he left friday night the bishop that said oh shall you stay he has you know bishop that honor and things he said no saturday morning i'll evangelism at the market you don't understand why the man is rich you will not understand it he said the secret is in the covenant he said seek you first every day is repeating the same scriptures every day do you know the difference between the two of you? He has believed it and just rested on it. You have not. That is the difference. That's the difference. Anyway, awake. He says, So I'm going to say that how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. That publisher feet, that bring good tidings of God, of good, that publishes salvation. That said unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up thy voice. With their voice together shall they sing. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall break against Zion. So it's now that after the captivity has been taken, how can someone who is has been taken captive deliver someone who, who is also in captivity? It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. So you see, God says, okay, this is it. Take it. You have been revived now. Take it. Run with it. Move with it. Watch me. And this year, 
Kalau harus gue nulis cerita ses ses. Yeah, gue harus gue nulis cerita. If intercession does not come, especially this year, Charlie, the casualties is more than COVID times a million. And those of you who are prophets, eh? Jeremiah 27, 18. Let's go there. You see, if one of the assignments of every prophet is intercession. It's not even prophesying. You go to Jeremiah 27. He says that if they, this Jeremiah, if you are a prophet, and if the word of the Lord is with you, let them now make intercession to the Lord of hosts that the vessels which are left in the house of the Lord and in the house of the king of Judah and at Jerusalem go not to Babylon. So they are taking some items to Babylon and they are left some. Then God spoke to Jeremiah and told those who were falsely prophets, if you say you are a prophet, pray and let that one stop like it will happen. Let's see. So one of the main signs of a prophet is his own. He always has number one, a love for God and a love for the people. Because if you don't love God and don't love the people, you cannot intercede for them. One of them will even insult you, but God is that the one God is telling you to pray for the person. The, the, the bone of every intercession is love. Yes, you kiss them. That's why some of you God cannot give you some power. Me. Of course, when I'm driving, I'm, I'm, I, I've seen that my greatest test is when I'm driving. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you identify? <laughs> because if you don't take care, you will say something, eh? They will come and especially like this. No, that that no no no, not even the people carry the pragya. And then the Lord I forgot the other. And then they come and then they just come and cross you. And then they come in, and then they turn back and they're looking at like, why have you uh, why make a big deal out of this? Like if you are speaking, they all of a sudden they just come across, and it's like I was with Pastor Samuel, like hey, you help us <laughs> because sometimes you want to say something. Yeah, you want to say something. I will never forget when I was getting married. A man of God called me and said, "You, the way you are, never be angry at your wife. If you become angry, what you say will happen. So just keep quiet." Go and take a shower. <laughs> yeah. Never. Don't, don't. So from that time, I've been good closely to my words. Just trying. Not only mine, but throughout. So when I'm angry at work, like, I just speak in tongues and just cool my my, my temperature. My wife is looking at me. <laughs> like, you know, just cool the temperature. Like, God. God should help. God should help. God should help. Because you will say something, and you like this is the who called the bear to come and take the children out. They will just keep quiet. So if you are if you are a prophet, Charlie, get like a list. Your WhatsApp may ask, the thing I, I was doing is I didn't know it was intercession. If you are my WhatsApp listening, I'll just be saying, okay, then I'll be praying. Just be praying. If I want to be long during the day, anytime, just be praying. Oh God, I mentioned the person's name. Paul said, I make mention of you in my prayers. Just mention, just mention, just mention. God, this person insulted me, but it doesn't matter. I'm praying for the person. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Let's pray. And I was just doing loosely. Then all of us didn't want to happen. I'll be there. I'm looking at post WhatsApp to snow. And God say, this person is going to sleep with this person at this hotel. I'm not, it's happening before. The person was going, was entering the lesson. I said that, stop what you are doing. They say, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> then I, I then recently I realized that God told me that, oh, this person, this person has blocked you. So they, you can't see there. Yes. Yeah, you know, block me. God told me. Because I'm always interceding via that, so grace will come. God said, "Okay, this, okay." You can, I don't know. I'll tell, so recently, so, 
Recently, like, someone blocked me on Twitter. I, I called, I said, that this person has blocked me. And I called Michael, I told Michael, ask Michael. I told Michael, this person has blocked me. All right, he said, when you want to check, I said, ah, it's true. He said, yes. So you blocked me. I, I, me, what am I going to do? Because whether you block me or not, God can still tell me. Do you understand? Uh huh. So I don't understand. Why is there blocking? You cannot block God. Can you block God? <laughs> Charlie, so I, I don't understand. I'll block you. It's not a threat. Block. Yeah. It's like, hey, Charlie, I'm thinking about the show, so. Oh yeah, it's a big thing for me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, they understand. That's what, I said. That's what I'm telling you that you are in a state of sleep. You are not. You are not awake. If you are awake in the spirit, oh, some things will come. Be like, hmm. No. Wait till you hear the thing. No. No. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Just think like Jesus. Maybe they are aware, or maybe they know and they like it and they want to wear it because, like their name suggests, they want to do it. Yes, hmm. Lord, raise intercessors, raise intercessors. Look, Acts chapter 12. Let's read that. It is a diversion, but let me just chip this in. Acts 12, eh? something happened to the church, it didn't take it. took interceding for the people. Acts 12, start from verse 1. I think the first seven. He says, Now by that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex setting of the church. You see? Go, 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 go back. When I say that Satan, eh, he doesn't waste his time on everybody. Look at it. He stretched to, to his hand to vex setting. So there are certain people in the church, he knows when he gets. The church is finished. Yes, it's not everything. It's not strategic to just always be. Uh, there are seven uh, It's not God. It's not God. Verse two. And he killed James. So this is one of the setting of the church. The brother of John with the sword. Verse three. And because he saw it, he saw it pleased the Jews. He proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days that were living men. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four continual of soldiers to keep him intended after Easter to bring him forth to the people. So soldiers were guarding. I think four continuals is 16 people. I'm not too sure. But Peter therefore was kept in prison. But what? But what? Prayer was made without ceasing of the church. Unto who? For him. Charlie, Peter is the apostle of the church. He is the one when Jesus was going, they handed over the keys and said, These are your people. He said, God, Jesus is the one who even said that I have prayed for you after you are converted. After you have delivered, convert your brethren. Then he, after all of this, then Peter comes. They have killed James. Apostle James is dead. Then they took Peter. Who is the head of the church? The devil said, No. This one, it, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not, but prayer. So, is it, is, if you don't take care and you don't intercede, James will be killed. A James in your life will be killed. Something, a, a, a Peter will, in fact, a Peter too will be killed because you are not interceding. You are not interceding. Intercession. Pray, 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 pray. Next verse, verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. <laughs> picture this thing. You know, when you're reading the Bible, sometimes you need to picture the moments. You understand? So you see that he was sleeping. So there's a soldier here on the right, and there's because he's sitting in between. So be, I don't know how to explain this, but this is the best I can speak in my English. Between is between. <laughs> Bound with two, so the person is like I don't even know what level of aggression they even want to exhibit. Bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. So let's go, verse seven. And behold, the angel 
of the Lord came upon him and a light shined so it was dark in the prison and he smote Peter on the side like he just so an angel can come you are sleeping and you just wake you up pray yes you just yes pray just sit you not come back Charlie pray read the word intercede for this person pray smote him on the side uh, Charlie and he saw it and raised him up like literally an angel comes an angel comes and say and raise him and say like Charlie come meanwhile there are two people in between one he is bound with chains so you do your hands like this he's bound in chains like this and he's sleeping and he, and what four companion or soldiers who are also around hmm. I said you need to picture the thing and, and say I'll rise up quickly and then what happened Charlie may, uh, may chains fall off your life may chains fall off your life chains of limitation chains that are not allowing you to advance chains that divineness and the critics have spoken over your life today may every chain in your life fall in the name of Jesus Charlie, the angel has come hey, there, are, there are 18 people guarding one person 18 18 people guarding one and the person is in chains the angel comes Number one, they must be asleep. So it even shows that spirits can do something to you to call you to sleep. This is even more evidence. Verse 8. And the angel said, Get yourself. He's going to be wearing his sandals. Burn all my sandals. And so he did. And he said, Cast thy garment about the face. That means he was not even fully clothed. Yes. The angel has appeared and chains are falling off. Charlie, today when you go, go and intercede for somebody. Pick your phone. Start, start that level of. If we don't intercede this year, this year, intercede for the people in Ukraine, intercede for the Christian in, in China and in Nigeria in the north who are being killed without the knowledge of. Intercede for how in Yemen there's also something. You know, people are looking at you. They are not even aware of what's happening. When you are praying, then the devil will respond to you. Who is that? It's not your car in your house that you are looking for. That is, see, again, beautiful. Looking for cars and houses are a show of a weak faith. <laughs> you have prayed about this for five years. Yes. Tell it. Oh God, raise watchmen. Who cry over nations? Who cry that righteousness come for? Look at what is happening in this country. Ali Mazu Kalabahayas. Angels always come in response to prayer. The Bible says prayer was made without ceasing. They didn't stop. You see, when you hear someone saying that don't pray long prayers, the person lacks a level of understanding. Because in verse 5, we see and we declare that they pray a long till they didn't stop until Peter came and that was when they stopped until you see the manifestation of some things never stop never stop William Wilberforce he prayed for the abolition of slave trade for 20 years one prayer topic one prayer topic one prayer topic May an angel visit us. Oh, may they visit us. May they visit us in our homes where there have been cycles of marital discouragement and shame. Charlie, I was talking to someone the last time. All, all of all the grandmother out of wedlock, the mother out of wedlock, she too has also repeated it and given birth to a daughter and I said if you don't take care of this child and train the person in the ways of God and pray that cycle will continue because like I said Satan also works with altars and covenants a covenant was made and a covenant is a form of renewal for that particular altar 
every time. So if you don't take care, the Bible says he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. If Satan has killed you, what is he come to destroy? He's come to destroy something that's transgenerational. That's what he's destroying. So he will pick up something and say that, okay, let a covenant be made between this person. So it can continue, may peace on this altar. And then it continues like that, that we are finding another person. And you see that all through this line, this is what is happening. This is what is happening. You can see the person can go to all the school they can in this world. But the, there's lack in the house. It happens to the brother or the uncles. You know, you don't even understand. Charlie, when you see there's this lady I buy young from at Ligon. Eh? She has a BMW. She has built a house and she has branches out of frying yam for 20 years. When you see this, eh, this type of thing, it's not degree or it, it is because there's a spirit. There's a spirit. So one day I, I yesterday when we went there, the green one, I saw, you know what I saw? I saw some Crantian stickers all over, the place. all over the place with the talent and I said, look at this. You will not understand. So it, BMW, BMW, who has a BMW in here? When you see things like people are breaking out of yeah. satanic manipulations, she's frying, she has branches. She's frying yam. We bought the yam, we have helped her buy the beer. <laughs> 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 so I, she packed it and then I went to me and said, Oh, why can't you so? Namia do matomica. Uncle to Corolla. Corolla, eh? A second one for the a uh, fraud boys, only a fraud boys, 20 years. So when you talk about see, wealth there, it's not a deal. Yes. And it takes time. That's what many people don't understand. It will take time. It will not take two years. It not take one year. Yes, God has the ability to turn things around. But it will really be out of your own sacrifice to a certain degree. It's there. Solomon built the temple because David had already as the amassed the money for him. That's why David wanted to build it because he had the provision already. You get it? So Solomon just came in. It, it, it was he didn't struggle to build it. Let's do fundraising. Then the pastor is preaching. He's sweating. Then he takes the mantle into more, and then he's prophesying to you. So I see. Hey, do this. He's arm twisting the congregation. No. And no Christ to in fact. Hmm. Charlie, I don't know how we branch into this, but awake. <laughs> oh Lord, deliver us from this spiritual identity. Deliver us from this spiritual identity. May we not lose our anointing. We will not lose our anointing. Not the effects of this ever come to pass in our lives, oh God. Just speak in the language of the Spirit of it. Just speak in the language of the Spirit of it. He kadaba shadanama. Taliba katu mahana namahanos. Ema dura haria bashatas. Hela kura hami anos te se 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 Malikal Abahas Jesus Jesus So read two scriptures and then it's almost twelve so Isaiah fifty seven verse fifteen and then Psalm So Isaiah fifty seven verse fifteen One of the ways that you can come out of this, let me, let me, let me. It says, for that saith the high and lofty one that inhabited eternity. Look at the description of God. Though. So you see, I am lifted up. So you need to understand the, yeah, the song. Who 
whose name is what? Holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also. That is of a what? Contrite and humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. There is a place. God dwells. To, Isaiah has described. Today we have been a lot of Isaiah. Isaiah has described this section that this is where God dwells. And this is his name. But also, God can dwell in a person who has a contract and a humble spirit. That's what he's saying. So you need to go to God with a broken heart. Tell him, you've done some things. You are spiritually asleep. You need to wake up. The message you've heard has quickened you immediately. He said, it's an open door for you. Just go. Ask for the mercy of God. Ask, because he said that he dwells to what? Revive. What we are dis- discussing now? To revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Your problem is your pride. Yes, that's your problem. So the road to recovery comes when you put away your pride. God, this is me. Yes, I've been masturbating. I've been doing this. I've been watching pornography. God, this is me. I've come. I slept with this girl. God, this is me. I hate this brother. You think it's all of those sins? I hate this brother. Lord, forgive me. Lord, this, I can't get past what this lady has done to me. You forgive. Lord, every single time I get money, I'm always wasting it. Lord, forgive me. Lord, I don't pay my tithes. Lord, forgive me. Lord, when you have prompted me to give, Lord, when you have said I should do X, Y, Z in the ministry, oh God, forgive me. Lord, when you told me that I should pray for this anointed man of God, I didn't do it and all of a sudden my prayer life went down. Did you know that in the prayer of you being anointed, the anointing of the anointed was coming to you? Lord, this is me. I'm sorry. Even I received money, I went to use it to bet. Lord, forgive me. Lord, I am sorry. You are being humble. You have not come to God as an apostle. You have not come to God as a prophet. You have not come to God as an evangelist or a pastor or someone who has money. You have come to God, Lord, this is me. Joshua Sama made a statement. It's always start with me. He said that, Lord, I'm your boy. I've come again. Be God's boy. Be God's child. Don't appear before him with your pride and your ego. And come to him and say that, oh, I have come again. This, that, you, like the prayers that Jesus described. You are the person who is saying that I have given this, I have done this, I have done this. And you said that this one is more honorable. The one who said, Lord, I know I've, I've committed that this hell. Let the mercy of the Lord. The Bible says, For he is plenteous in mercy. Let plenty cannot be counted. So it shows that the mercy and that dimension of, of, of God cannot be counted. So he comes to you one more time again saying that, Okay, my child. You came as a child. You didn't come as someone who, have, who you believe you are an apostle or whatever. This is how you have come. So then come. Come. Then he holds your hand. Then he begins to show you again. And like then it goes back to the sermon we had. You discipline yourself. Then what we had in the first in the first uh, uh, session. You discipline yourself. You begin, you find, you build systems of immunity that will exempt you from the spirit of Delilah. And the spirit that hover around that causes men to be perpetually in a particular state of spiritual sleep. That today you awake, awake, and put on the strength of God. Stand to your feet.
spoke about God and us having a spirit of revival with a humble heart. Isaiah, I think, what is it? Isaiah 57 verse 15. We are going to pray. Don't be emotional about this. Just ask, tell God that God list the things. This is it. I have done X, Y, Z. This is, you will be broken before God. Be broken before God. Be broken before God. I said, Oh Lord, this is it. No more, some of you wrong friends have caused you into a state of spiritual sleep. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh. Forgive us, O oh God. Our pride. Our ego. O oh God. Whatever has caused this, O oh God. That Lord, we shall not lose ourselves. We shall not lose the anointing. We shall not lose your presence. Kemi kohos. Maline ne gosta payas, ivre kataya si totosh te testes. Ema tula bahani anama. Oh yes, oh yes. Forgive us, forgive this nation, forgive us as leaders, forgive us as your children, O oh God. The corruption, the decay. We shall have a broken heart before you, O God. Jesus. Jesus.
judge that is silent before him. I see a wave of water. People's hearts are being washed. A wave of water. I see buckets lined up. Buckets lined up with water. With water. It's unique. It's clear. Almost bluish. And it's being poured on the chest of people. The Lord is saying, You will not do it again. Say you will not do it again. Help us come. Help us come. Help us come. It's being washed. It's being washed. I see a footprint. A footprint in this building. I'm seeing two now. And this is of our Lord and Master Jesus. Who just he said that I'm setting a footprint not only over even this land, but even in their hearts. That after here. After here, awake, awake, strength, awake, 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 awake. The vision is continuing for me. That same hospital room, everybody in that room is, is all, been, all the people have been discharged, and the beds are neatly laid. And I can see them in the lobby. And they are going out. They are going out. Look at some of them. Apostolic graces. Prophetic eagles. Kamina knows this. Social media evangelists. Malika Fos. Pastors without walls. Just with understanding. I'm just seeing a list. That's what I'm mentioning. Jesus. 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 Oh, daughter of Zion, the bounds of your neck have been loosed. Oh, yes. I see it clearly. 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 Prayer engines are being sparked. You ancient Zion Kadosh, you are mighty on your own. Sing it for him. Sing it for him. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your own. You reign, you reign, you reign.
two more prayers that picture we are done. We are going to pray. The Bible says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that they will not perform their enterprise. We want to pray. Delilah is a spirit. It will try again. You want to create the law. Build around me systems of immunity. You have said you are going to disappoint the crafty hands of the enemy so that they cannot perform their enterprise. For he shall make diviners mad for your sake. You want to open your mouth and begin to pray and say that Lord, build systems of immunity. Just be on your feet and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. specific people. This is how God is going to immune you through the song. Yeah, sing it. Yeah. Just focus on him. There is something that is happening. Thank you. 
soak in the glory.
Tile. 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 His head is too like that of a snake and has a long tail and entangles that when he entangles it's very difficult to come out that's why he find it difficult to come out of some things but I see that captain I see that captain I see that captain he has not even drawn his sword he's not about to draw his sword and he's just fighting immediately he began to fight the fire of God When, when the snake was cut, another head grew. Then the angel said that, Look, I come in the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Tamumba Ibaros. When he said, I come in the name of the Lord, he began to shake. He began to shake. He began to shake. And my mama be a Give me back. Give me back. Ah, look, the Lord is telling you that. He said that. Rest is your restoration. Rest is your restoration. So he's about to restore. I see papers. I see documents. I see what he writes. I see things of so many words. And it's being distributed now. There is a woman who is big. She has come, she has put cloth over herself. And she said Nigeria, speaking Nigerian PG English. And she says that he's calling me Papa. I'm wondering why she's still calling Papa. He said, I have come because this is what I used to do whilst I was alive. To pray for the deliverance of ladies. And that intercessory grace is coming on someone who has been delivered. He said that I have come. She used to hold her club and whip in her club. I said, I have come with my club. I said, I have come with my club. I have come with my club. I have come the issue there is a key that the man has the angel has gone for that key he's gone for it he will not find it i don't know what he does in a particular room i don't know he's gone for it yes for your name is no more no more no more i say no more 
dimension that, inter- that you can wait and pray and intercede whether your life depends on it or not that it said I've come it said that I have come to restore lost crowns lost crowns you were crowned once and you lost it but God is bringing let's lift up your hands lost crowns are being delivered lost crowns just lost count. Jesus. 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 Hold the arms. Hold the arms. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory so just lift up your hands. It's important.
saved as an Obasi trumpet. You are saved as an Obasi trumpet. I don't know how, but you have to try. That same, that is the same. I see him even playing too as you were singing it. Then he pa 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 pa. Same thing. The Lord is telling her that the names of God, the album he has released, is going to listen to all. Go and listen to all. It's an impartation. Like at a go, it's listen to all. They don't know how long it will just stay there. Come me, Azu, Talabala, play, play. Then listen to all. Listen to all. It's a system of immunity for you. Yes. I just saw the reason why. It's a system of immunity. It's a parable. It's a system of immunity. Look, anybody that the devil has assigned by your life that you are to meet. Look, I'm telling you, may you escape. May you escape. I say again in the room, may you escape. You will meet a Delilah and that will be the end of your ministry. How? And he says, we don't think about a lady, think about a man at the other side too. Come. Charlie, lift up your eyes. I'm saying to the open, you will not marry somebody who will end your ministry. Yes, you've been called, you've been anointed. So we cast that spirit and we say, The crown is yours, let it be placed over your head. The name of Jesus. They also say the Lord is saying that she should also listen to the album. So glorious, so glorious in your ways. There's, there's a song on the album. I don't know. I don't know if you're not singing. Sing, sing it. Sing it. There's something. The song. She Adonai means Lord, owner, ruler. It, there's no size to God. There's no size to God. That dimension of that name. It's coming over every sphere of your life. Sing it. I don't know how if you, if you remember. It's a scripture. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yes, that is it. That's the only one. Just sing it. That's the reason. Sing it again. You see, she has come in here. Yes. Sing it. I say, sing it. That's the reason.